Looks like you are to die. It won't change anything. Are you feeling all right? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember, the Reaper's curse is no joke. Is Isen's curse even real? I'm having trouble believing in it. You never know. Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Mogilu, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace? Or that Aizen made a stopover on an island and the men there caught demon blight? Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation? Please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. It was seven warships. Everyone on the island, not just men, caught demon blight. And the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. <laughs> Hold me! But as far as the Corsair's Scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this.
This must be the Warg Forest. We need to be careful. There may well be exorcists around. This is a dual-layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem, then. That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it, but in another sense, it's a kind of proof of his manhood. Proof of his... manhood? Must polish you so you don't rust. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. For a Praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? Ugh. The Reaper's Curse. The Abbey needs to know about this. I'll have to investigate further. A coin that always comes up tails. Can a Moloch's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. I know it's hard to believe, but Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? Oh! Your gaze falls on me, then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges, too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads, and it wouldn't take hold. 
The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself if you like. <gasps> this is... the Demon Lord Douse! Good eye. It's from Carl... It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart... I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor-shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. It's a technique no one alive can duplicate, and it makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. You're finding the green crack! Not good. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Is this also part of the Reaper's curse? It's an angel's blessing as long as we win. Right? 